Yeah, so uh, we're just going to go up here and uh, set up a tent. Yeah, so uh, this looks like a good spot. Um, it's pretty flat, and uh, uh, right over here we have a uh, drainage kind of thing. So even if there was rain, it would come right down through here. Um, the only problem is probably all these rocks right here. But uh, I can easily just move them away. Uh, it helps a lot if you move all the rocks, just so that uh, you're not sleeping on rocks, because nobody likes that. Yeah, so now that we've uh, moved all the rocks and the pine cones uh, out of the way, we can uh, put down our uh, ground tarp. Uh, the ground tarp really helps for water. Um, it, it helps so that you don't get your uh, sleeping bag or sleeping pad wet um, if it rains. And uh, it also helps with, um, like, just kind of, if you're, if you're sleeping on the ground, it helps with comfort because it gives you a little bit more padding than you would have uh, had without a tarp. Uh, so I'm just going to get that right now. Yeah, the uh, tarp, it also helps with uh, dirt, so it also helps keep the tent clean. Yeah, so whenever you're uh, unrolling the, uh, the tarp and all that, you want to make sure uh, it fits over this. Um, so it doesn't fit over if it rains, then you're going to have one side of the tent that's kind of wet, and the other side of the tent will be dry, and uh, it's not very fun for the people uh, sleeping on the other side of the tent. Uh, you also want to make sure you have all your poles and uh, all your pegs, so yeah, we have more than enough. You have to set those off to the side for now. gonna peg this down first on uh, all the corners. Yeah, so uh, I just noticed that there is a slight uphill. Uh, so whenever there's an uphill, um, you want to put your head towards the, um, the way up, <laughs> so that if you're sliding, uh, if there's water near you, you want to go feet first, because if you go head first, you're going to get a rude awakening. And that would really suck. Um, yeah, and also it depends on uh, if you want your head to the door, or your feet to the door. Uh, honestly, I like my head to the door, um, so that's why I put it this way. Uh, but it all depends on what you like. Yeah, so whenever you're putting the uh, tent pegs in, you want it to face towards the tent, uh, not away from the tent, because if you put them away from the tent, if it pulls, it's going to pull straight out. And if it pulls, uh, whenever you're pointing it into the tent, it'll try to drag and it'll have to pull through the dirt. Yeah, so if uh, you hit a rock like I did right here, uh, you want to try to move it over. And uh, if you keep hitting a rock, uh, which I did right here again, uh, you can use a uh, hatchet or a hammer or your foot to push it in. I'm just going to use my foot. There we go. Yeah, so uh, to make the uh, tent stand up, you need to uh, uh, put together the poles. 
and uh, slip them up. Uh, you also need to attach the string right here to uh, the poles and uh, use a uh, peg to, well, help it pull on the pole to stand up. Uh, now the poles aren't like uh, modern day poles. <laughs> um, you have to put them together by hand and uh, it's not held together with string. Um, so uh, it can be annoying. Uh, it's a lot easier with two people, that's for sure. Um, There we go. Now we gotta attach the string. And uh, there's this uh, metal or plastic part right here that can be used to uh, make the string longer or smaller, uh, depending on how much room you have. I'm just gonna leave it the uh, length it is right now. Uh, but it really helps out. Yeah, so uh, with this particular tent, you have to climb in. Uh, that's kind of the fun part of it, uh, to put the uh, pole in. Now you can kind of see what the uh, tent looks like whenever it's uh, fully up. Uh, it's okay to let this fall down for now because we can always pick it back up. Uh, now let's go put the string on the other side like we did uh, with this side right here. Yeah, you know, it would have been more help if uh, those guys swimming over there would have uh, helped me out with our tent. Oh no, I forgot a peg. Yeah, you want to have uh, this ridge right here nice and uh, snug because if it dips down, if uh, rain starts to go on it, it'll really like loosen up these and uh, you'll wake up wet. So yeah, that happened to us. Yeah, so on these 80s tents, there's uh, side uh, strings, I guess you'd call them. Uh, with the side strings, you want to have this right here straight and this flat right here so that if uh, rain comes down, it bounces off here and it doesn't get you wet if you're sleeping on the side right here. And uh, these actually have the same thing as uh, strings right over here. Uh, you can adjust how long you want them with this plastic part. Um, doesn't seem to be a string on this, so I can... <sighs> Rock. Yeah, that's a rock. <sighs> yeah, 
Yeah, this is really where a uh, hammer comes in handy. Yeah, so I have my uh, trusty hammer here. Um, I'm just going to try to hit this peg in because there's a rock right here. Uh, we don't want to try to bend the peg because it'll slow us down in the future. Um, and it also just really sucks. Uh, You need to be careful not to hit yourself like I just did right now. Yeah, it's always a uh, good rule to put your uh, bags inside of your tent bag and put it inside of your tent. So you always know where they are and you don't lose anything. And uh, it's also good to have uh, uh, clothespins so that you can hang stuff up right here if you wanted to. It's great for hanging up your uh, swimsuit or wet clothes or uh, really anything that you need to hang up. Yeah, so uh, now that you're done setting up the tent, you can uh, move in. Yeah, I kind of uh, stole a uh, pillow from the van. Yeah, so whenever you put your uh, bags in, if you have more than one person, you're going to want to move it off to the side where nobody is sleeping. And uh, you can stack up your bags, actually, so it takes up a lot less room. Uh, I'm just going to move all my stuff over so I can set up my bed. Uh, this is my sleeping pad. And, uh, sleeping bag right here. Yeah, so uh, with a sleeping bag, you want one that's uh, rated for the right temperature. So, like, uh, if you're sleeping in the winter, you want a fairly good sleeping bag, because it can get pretty cold. Uh, in the summer, you want a sleeping bag that's pretty light, so that you're not boiling um, throughout the whole night, and then have to sleep without a sleeping bag. Uh, that would suck because of mosquitoes and all that. If you had them in, the, in your tent, they'd come over and... Uh, Target you all night. Yeah, and uh, there you have it. Uh, you're set up for the night, and um, going good. <laughs>